even as a tax wall stands in the way towards greater adoption. This small company in Yamanashi Prefecture is attracting attention from around the world. Recently, Mr. Yamamoto welcomed two people who arrived from Thailand. A Royal Thai Air Force Colonel and a trading firm president. They look at the devices to make next generation fuel with keen interest. Petroleum demand continues to increase every year in Thailand, which relies on imports for 70% of its needs. For energy-scarce countries, this is a technology that's desperately needed. I really guess uh, about uh, silicon tanks today, and I think it's uh, useful for uh, my unit or the, my country pretty much. Enico's technology is being sought not just by Thailand. The company has already signed contracts with more than a dozen countries. You can look all around the world, but Enico is the only one with the technology. We're going to continue promoting this globally. Enico is also continuing research into further increasing the proportion of water. Fuel that's been through emulsion once is put through another emulsion process. It's never been done. This is what he means. Emulsion fuel, that's a mixture of 50% water and 50% light oil, is mixed with a further 50% water. The emulsion process is repeated a total of three times. It's complete. The first time, the water proportion is 50%. The second time, it's 75%. And the third time, it becomes 87.5%. Can this really be called light oil? On this day, Mr. Yamamoto visits the Shin Nihon Kente Kyokai to request an analysis of his company's emulsion fuel. Do you have the results? Yes. Let me have a look. It's almost the same level. It's perfect. Thank you. Even after being emulsified three times, the combustion efficiency is almost the same as that of conventional light oil. <laughs> 